I think right now where we are politically and in this social climate, being a boy mom kind of comes with a little bit of extra pressure and I don't really like it. Here's the thing, being a parent that's reacting to something versus being a parent that's forcing something is totally different. I'm telling you, like the, the world is so stupid nowadays. I'm not, I'm not adhering to anything that's no. going on right now. People need to keep their opinions to themselves and don't tell me how to raise my child. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. <laughs> drum line, you feel me? Period. We're having a boy. Boy! Boy, 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 Young boy. Young swag! Per baby swag is on the way. In the building. Um, and it's huge because, number one, I don't ever have to be pregnant again. That is a big <laughs> deal. Like, I got a boy and I got a girl and I'm we done. Did our job. Okay? Like, there would, there, will okay. Never be, oh, there will never be a baby coming out of me ever again. Um, and I'm very excited about that. Um, secondly, I get to watch my husband raise a son which is really huge for me, um, which leads me to a deeper point, because there's a few things. One, I'm absolutely thrilled over the moon to be a boy mom, but I think right now where we are politically and in this social climate, being a boy mom kind of comes with a little bit of extra pressure and I don't really like it. So I don't feel like the world is giving moms permission to get excited about having boys because there is this whole like gender thing in the air of like, boys can't be boys anymore um and i don't know how to feel about that because i feel like i want my son to be raised like my husband i want my husband um to be able to instill all the things that he was instilled as a child into our son Absolutely. but without the criticism of the world being like oh you're being too hard on him or you're treating him too much like a boy and he needs to be able to pick his sexuality and all the things and it's like why can't kids just be kids and why can't my son just be my son yeah. like i don't i don't understand yeah i'm not doing that yeah i'm raising my son to be uh, uh a man and he's gonna mm -hmm. do exactly what i did as, as a child which is have fun play sports you know you know hang around the family and and not focus on what the world is is trying to have kids today focus on yeah you know i don't um, want to groom my children i don't think it's fair to groom your children i think here's the thing being a parent that's reacting to something versus being a parent that's forcing something is totally different if you have a child that is reacting and saying i don't want to do this i don't feel comfortable with this of big course difference. listen to your child yeah, big but difference. for you to be like oh i'm and no shade i got friends that are like this and i'm not coming for y'all everything is gender neutral and there's going to be no colors and no you know uh, what is it I no forgot. blue no, blue no pink, pink. Yeah, no, no i just yeah. want them to and it's like relax like i think it's okay like for boys to be like oh you're a boy so dad wants to go play basketball allure can play basketball too absolutely you know but it's just like taking i don't know it's really hard for me and i don't know what to do about it because i like to be sensitive to other people's you know preferences but at the same time it's like in return you have to be sensitive and you have to be acknowledging of my preferences and my preferences are raise my son like I, a son i want my boy to be a boy did you see um the i think it was a lady i don't know if it's on instagram or dr phil i forgot what it was but yeah. she was like mm -hmm. when you change your son or daughter at like four months old or five months old you need to like ask them for permission because if you touch them without them approving it's assault or it's oh my god i'm so dead serious so am i supposed and to leave my baby and pee somebody said the same thing and she's like no but just like rub them and if they like smile at you or give you a nod then change them it's like do you know how many babies hate getting bro, in a diaper change you know Stop like, it right now. i'm telling you like the, the world is so stupid nowadays i'm not i'm not adhering to anything that's no. going on right now i'm not i don't care no. i don't care what people think or what people say i'm not i'm not yeah no and i honestly feel like it's like pr protect your child's innocence like genuinely i can't i just can't stress it enough of like this is a whole nother rant of mine, but like for instance, our society is so backwards sometimes. It's like, okay, we don't want people to be raised with certain values. We want everybody to be equal treatment, 50-50 relationships, 50-50 life. And then now what is there? There's a pandemic of women that are complaining that men are not doing enough, that they're not offering it enough, that they should be paying for everything and that they are wanting to the princess treatment. Well, guess what? It was, everybody was encouraging moms to raise their sons as if they were, everything was equal. And now that we're in a situation, they're like, where are the manly men? Where are they that want to provide for their family? Where are the men? Yeah. And it's like, People on Twitter be Whoa. like, uh, People on Twitter be like, back in the day, like men, yeah. men is like getting pedicures now. Back in the day, they were hunter gatherers. Like exactly, a, a, a meme. but people are complaining, <laughs> you know? or they're, or they're even this, and it, there has to be a balance. They're brutalizing men for being emotional or having feelings, or, or yeah, yeah, uh, going through mental stuff. Exactly, exactly, or having mental health or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like, 
y'all there just has to be a balance and i need i need whoever is making the rules to make up your mind of what we can do because i i want my son to have emotions i want him to have feelings i want him to be able to communicate but i also want him to be able to feel like he can be a man and if he wants you know a situation to where hey you know i don't i'm old school if my man and i'm i'm not offended by this if my man's saying hey baby i, I want to provide for you and i just want you to relax i'm not gonna be like how dare you i'm how independent you? <laughs> listen i'm gonna sit my butt down and i'm gonna go relax and yeah. that's just my preference yeah. so i would like to raise a son that knows how to treat a woman nice or listen you know like at least take care of the people that are around him in a way that feels nurturing and that feels like i'm a provider i'm a man i'm this and that now yeah. that, that's no, just I'm me a, no I, I agree and i'm instilling all my you know values you know into him like i said if people have their thoughts or opinions they should get their own kids it's the same thing i said about you <laughs> know your own kids you, your fam- remember i made a video yeah, yeah. to your family members where i was just like if you have so much thoughts on on the laura get a man have a kid and then worry about your kid like i literally said that too and i i mean that in in to everybody out there in the world as well, um, because I don't know. I want. I would like for my son to be a, a spitting, you know, image of of myself. Of you. you know what I mean? So like, play sports, or but I'm gonna teach him both though. Sports, the market, everything yeah. in general. Then he can pick whatever he wants. Emotional he, intelligence. Yeah, everything. But even that, he I can feel choose like whatever he wants. Swag at that has point. emotional intelligence. Swag is a girl's girl. Swag has literally, you know, lots of girlfriends that'll call him crying in a situation because he has emotional intelligence. So I'm not. You know, thinking like I'm gonna raise a guy that's just like a douchebag or no, that, I don't want that, that is mean. Like I wouldn't, no, you know, I wouldn't uh, claim a douchebag or f boy. Yeah. Like I want my child to have manners and but stuff. But just and like people open the door for ladies, like things of that nature. You exactly, know, exactly. Carry groceries, help his mom, help yeah, his sister. Yeah, yeah. But it's frustrating because I'm like, you, everyone's preaching women need to embrace their femininity and you need to just you know live in your softness and whatever. But then flip the coin because men can embrace their masculinity too and it's okay that that men want to be masculine and i do agree with make sure they have emotions and they're not psychopaths great but other than that of like no he can lift weights no <laughs> you know like you know yeah. he might be a little player i don't know like i don't know like you never know i don't know having a girl and a boy is, is just different you know but yeah. i also think like i said laura will keep swag sane and swag will keep laura sane you know yeah um, and yeah, even just having to the dynamic is going to be different like i don't know it's just it's one of those things um on a side note we're going way left field here we are coming into things that like as a girl mom i've never had to deal with so a few things circumcision that's on the table for boys do we circumcise them do we not circumcise them the rules are changing in the world so circumcision was a normal practice back in the day now they think it's child mutilation and cruelty so it's not even really like offered as much anymore but then like what do you do like there's so many things to where i didn't realize that having kids was a group project y'all were not here when we made a kid y'all don't know what we're doing so now i have to adhere to the world's rules and then people are going to criticize me whether i do this or whether i do that i don't like there's nothing that i can do right that's why that's why you just got to pick a side with anything like i that's why i respect Republicans so much and Democrats so much because they choose a side. You know what I mean? Because That's a fact. You, you can never please both. You're always going to have some t- like yeah. Democrats got Republican haters and vice versa. You got to pick a side and, and stand on that side. Yeah. And just defend that no side. No dead ass. And then you, you know? add in the fact that we're now raising a black man um, and we're raising a black man and we're not in. We're in America, but we're technically not. We're in American territory. So that, yeah. that at least helps out a little bit. But there's certain things that we have to like adhere to. This child is going to be huge. Yeah, I like, there's just son, so many things. Uh, uh, you know, his rights now with the yeah. police and stuff. Um, yeah, just a lot. Just a lot to, to, to it's a consider. Lot to take know? in. Um, so I say all that to say people need to keep their opinions to themselves and don't tell me how to raise my child. But um, I'm also really excited to be raising a boy because it's just going to be a different experience. Yeah, and you ne- like you said, you never had a boy. You know, like no. you like had sisters and yeah. things of that nature. You know, like... For me, I grew up with my brother, and I have another brother, of course, and I'm, I'm raised by my dad, you know, things of that nature. So I was always around men uh, growing up. So Yeah, so Alora's like, second nature for me is easy. It's all girls, everything to me. It's funny, because Bailey sees it, too. I mean, obviously, Baby Swag isn't here yet, but Bailey sees it with Alora. Like, anything happens to Alora, even you can have her, but, like, if she, like, falls and hit her head. It's crazy. Like, I'm crazy. Like, I would, like give me Alora, yeah. right? But, but when I it comes feel like to I'm going to be that way. Baby Swag. No, but I'm going to be that way over him, so it's going to switch. No, don't give me It'll that. Right. It's, I'm going to give that the thing over him because Chris is very like and we just had a fight I'm not even gonna name but we had a little argument with our nanny because our nanny's like we just need to let her cry and Swag's like who baby yeah, who, who you gonna let who? cry no no, no. not letting the Lord cry um, if the Lord cries I'm in there I don't yeah, care yeah. I don't care like and he's just so she's soft like, you, you, yeah you gotta let her cry no I don't no, no we don't no. 
Um, but then he's like, yeah, I need to be a little tough with my boy. I'm hey, like, baby, no. start crying. Hey, you be but like, also, man. no, because that's my baby. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. No. You know, so we just have these, uh, like, there's a lot, you junior. know, but no, yeah, we're not yeah, going to yeah. treat him mean. Not we're not going to let him cry. Not at all. I hope he's a mama's boy. Like, I, there's so many things, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. that I'm fun. just excited to experience, It'll you know. Fun. Yeah, and we're, yeah. It's only funny because you're gonna watch this 18 years from now. We I love know. you. Just we so you know, we you, love you a but lot. But people are just not gonna take my joy from experiencing what it means to be a boy mom just Girl. because everybody wants the world to be exactly the same. Nope. We're gonna we're gonna have our own experience. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be the funnest thing in the world. So yeah. So basically, under the comments, I just want to see congratulations, and that's it. <laughs> and <nothing else. laughs> Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Love you guys. Later.